And welcome back in a weather alert now. Heavy snow in western Nevada could give us a sneak peek at what's coming our way. You see it here. This is what it looked like last night in the Lake Tahoe area. Now the person who shot these videos say they are running out of places to put all of the snow in the town of Crystal Bay. The area is under a blizzard warning until early tomorrow morning and that system, as we said, is headed our way. And Little Cottonwood Canyon is back open today after closing down for avalanche work. Check out this video you dot shared on Twitter. Look at that. This morning snow forced them to shut down SR 210 so they could trigger slides like the one you right, see right there to clear the roads. That said, it's still dicey in the canyon and traction devices are required. It is just incredible to see how much snow we've so got. It's amazing. Snow. Yeah, two feet in 24 hours. Woo. I mean, our mountains definitely reaping the benefits of these series of storms. Another one on the way tonight. Okay. I'm ready for it. You, you may not believe it. it, though, because you were out there and you were right. like, sunshine and dry. But this is a pattern that we can get used to where we're seeing the snow overnight and into the early morning hours and then clearing for the rest of the day. We start with a live look at Powder Mountain, the snow stake here telling quite the story. As of 4 p.m. yesterday, they picked up another foot. The storm total here. Yeah, 23 inches, pretty close to 24. What a great system for northern Utah. We talked about those totals. Our winter storm warning in the north for the Wasatch Mountains and Wasatch Back holds on until 5 p.m. tomorrow. Also the case for our winter weather advisory. But new this afternoon, we have extended and expanded that winter storm warning. Now the southwest desert part of it, cities like Cedar City, Beaver, over towards Milford, Kanab, Grand Staircase, looking at accumulating snow as this next winter storm that comes through tonight heavily favors southern Utah, but widespread snow is expected. As a result, the warnings and winter weather advisory you see in southeastern Utah and up towards Delta, that will hold until Thursday at 5 a.m., giving you an idea that we've got a prolonged period of heavy precip down south. Current conditions, Salt Lake City looking so gorgeous. Great shot there from Enzyme Peak. Temperature sitting in the low 40s, cooler than where we were yesterday following the cold front that came through. Northwest winds out there, west northwest, and we know that we've got a chillier bite in the air, and that's going to continue as another front will make its way through the Beehive State. Temperatures throughout the rest of Utah, freezing in Logan, 40s in Moab, 30s for the I-15 corridor, and upper 40s in St. George, where we know cloud cover is filling in. One system clearing the next on its heels. Now that's a pattern we really like. We see cloud cover increasing with our southwest flow there in the southern portion of the state. That westerly component bringing in the clouds and the moisture. Elko dealing with snow right now. Last night we saw that snow hit Elko and then it moved six hours later right in to the Salt Lake Valley. That thunder snow meant business. Okay, we know our next storm system is going to create some travel impacts. It's going to be for the southern half of the state, but notice our mountain routes and over towards the Wasatch Plateau also looking at periods of road snow. Southeastern Utah, southern Utah. We're talking Black Ridge here, folks. Also, Highway 89 in the southern portion of the state definitely going to be dealing with tricky travel. Here's the reason why. Futurecast walks us through. We're in the warm sector of the storm. You notice how as we get through tonight, later into the evening, we'll see wet weather filling in down south. It starts to spread in the southern half of the state. By ABC4 News at 10, we've got snow potential towards Moab, Grand Staircase, Beaver, Cedar City, and rain down there in St. George. Also, knocking in the northern corner of the state, Moving in, this area of low pressure with its counterclockwise flow will bring that widespread precipitation for the overnight. This is 4 a.m. I hope you're watching the clock in the corner of your screen as that area of low pressure makes its way through the Beehive State. The morning commute has the potential to be wintry. So a heads up there, road slush possible as the model here wants to keep that snow in the north, heavier snow down south. It is going to continue to push through the state by tomorrow afternoon. We stay with wintry conditions for most of the state starting to clear in certain spots. This area of low pressure will trek to the east by 5 p.m. Wrap around moisture at this point with the counterclockwise flow staying active in central and southern Utah starting to clear the north. The mountains hang on by late tomorrow midnight. It's only in southeastern Utah. Clear conditions, but cold conditions with a northwesterly component to our winds. Wind chill values will be chilly into Thursday, but dry conditions Thursday morning and that will last throughout the day. So Thursday will be our break. Additional snow expected in the northern mountains eight to 
16 inches, half a foot to a foot in the U inches. The central mountains could get anywhere from 8 to 16, and down south we're looking at another 1 to 2 feet. Pine Valley Mountains, Bryan Head, heavy snow expected. Now for our valleys, we could see additional light accumulations in the north, 1 to 4 inches, 2 to 6 in our central valleys, southern valleys like Cedar City looking a lot heavier. Trace, 2, 3 inches of snow in portions of Washington County, and you'll notice the benches doing a little better. So will our mountain valleys, 1 to 4 in the basin, and Castle Country getting a little snow there. 30s for those daytime highs. Thunder snow in southeastern Utah. For tomorrow, yeah, we definitely know it's a possibility. 30s with 40s in St. George. Here's a check on the next seven in Washington County. Rain for tomorrow in St. George. Dry conditions to follow with temperatures slowly rebounding closer to average. Upper 50s in view. Wasatch Front bringing the chance of snow for tomorrow. A brush by system Friday and then active skies return for the latter half of the weekend and into next week. Temperatures in the 30s, some 40s, but overall below average. Stay on top of this storm by downloading the ABC4 weather app. It's easy to do. You take a picture of this. It's a QR code. Grab your phone, take the picture, takes you to the app store. You can download the app for free. Then you have Utah's most accurate forecast wherever you go.